Now, when it comes to the debt ceiling negotiations, the one thing both sides seem to open, uh, be open to is taking back unspent COVID funds. The question we have tonight is what would that mean for North Carolina? CBS 17's Russ Bowen has been digging deeper into this. And Russ, our state has already received billions of dollars. That's right, Angela. And that money has been spent or is being spent all over the state. Republicans made this suggestion as a way to get the deficit down. And Democrats and the president, like you said, have said they're open to it. So at this point, the money North Carolina has received so far that is specific to this type of recall we're talking about is $5.46 billion. The bulk of that is obligated to things like infrastructure, health, business relief, unemployment, and education. But the State Pandemic Recovery Office tells me that money is ours to keep. We've got it. It's in our coffers, and it's already been appropriated by the General Assembly for things like broadband, which we all remember was a huge problem when kids had to go home and be remote for school. So the question now, is there money we've not yet gotten that we might have to get up, give up. Well, that's a looming question for not only North Carolina, the whole country. The North Carolina Pandemic Recovery Office is currently working to get that number for us. Now, you might have thought, we got a lot more than that $5 billion. We did. Remember, we got $110 billion. North Carolina got that for things like COVID relief checks that many households got, the Paycheck Protection Program, Enhanced Unemployment Benefits, and expanding the SNAP program. Those things completely separate from what we're talking about today. It's a lot to dig through, uh, and hopefully we'll get a better clear or clearer answer as Congress mulls over this whole thing, guys.